So Logan, the first time I said your name, I said, is Nieves. And then someone called from LCA, it was not your mother, thankfully, and said, it's Nevis. So Logan Nevis is our BGO male recipient. The son of Holly and Scott Nevis of Nicholasville, four-year starter on the LCA football team. Integral part of their success over the last several years. Starting quarterback, 15 rushing, 22 passing touchdowns in his senior year prior to the injury. We'll get into some of the numbers in just a few minutes. A lot of injuries to overcome. And when I first started doing the story, you know, last year, it's like, wow, that's an injury. There's a basketball player, blew out her knee, blew out her knee, blew out a knee. Logan took it to a different level in terms of injuries. His coach, Ethan Atchley, says this about Logan. With all of his injuries, Logan still showed up to practices, games, helping to support his club or the next man in his position. He was awarded the number one jersey in the LCA football program his senior year, which goes to the player, I feel, exemplifies everything it means to play high school football the right way at Lexington Christian Academy. Coach Ashley goes on to say he is a young man of faith, a servant leader, passionate on the field. Logan, was ra Logan has raised the bar for what it means to wear that jersey in his time here. At that point, I will cue up the video because this does go into the injuries. And Logan, I had to grab some pictures off of Facebook from West Jess a while, just a few years ago. Here is the story of Logan Nevis. Logan Nevis is a leader, a competitor, and a winner. Over the last two years, Nevis was a fixture on WKYT Sports during the fall, running with reckless abandon or throwing long passes to a myriad of receivers. The numbers were impressive, but we will get to those later because there were other numbers which grabbed the attention as well. The number of injuries, and we start with number one. It was my right ACL when I was in eighth grade at uh, West Jessman Middle School. Um, that was my first experience with uh, orthopedic injury, and it was the beginning of a long road of surgeries and rehab for me. The road continued in 2015 with Logan now at LCA. Second injury was my throwing shoulder. Um, I tore my labrum sophomore year. I believe it was the fourth game. Entering the 2016 campaign, Logan was part of a package deal at quarterback. He accounted for more than 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns, leading the Eagles to an undefeated regular season and a district title. Then injury number three. That was when uh, I had thrown an interception against Danville and I was running down the guy who caught it and I tried to strip the ball by swinging down over top and my thumb got cracked on his helmet. Now to 2017. Nevis is the starter from day one and boy did he dazzle the city with his dual threat capabilities. People finally found, uh, found out exactly who Logan Nevis was and what he was about, and he's one kid that uh, we've had to teach how to run out of bounds at quarterback as the years have gone on, but, uh, but a kid that you know is going to play his heart out each and every time he goes out there because he's a, a, an impeccable leader and, and a, a rallier of uh, you know, people to follow him uh, as a leader each and every time he goes out and plays the game of football, uh, or he's the older brother to his four younger ones. Um, it, it, just, it doesn't really matter. Logan's just a kid that's gifted with getting people to follow him. That was the beginning of a breathtaking campaign of gaudy numbers and great plays. During his senior season, Logan showed why LCA's mantra of no huddle, no mercy averaged 51 points a game. Then came the night of September 8th. First victory over Catholic in program history, man. That's awesome. It's awesome. That celebration ensued because LCA pounded Lexington Catholic 56-36, beating the Knights for the first time in school history. We can do anything, you know, and this proves it. You know, we're going to make a run this year. Be watching. And everyone would watch as LCA's embarrassment of talent lit up scoreboards. But then... 
My fourth injury was uh, in a playoff game versus Leslie County my senior year. Um, I was just taking the ball up the middle. Um, I just crossed the line of scrimmage and planted with my left foot and my knee just totally gave out and I kind of figured that, that that was it. That was it. The end of a great career, which accounted for more than 4,700 total yards, 58 touchdowns, but it also led. You know, since I've, I've hurt myself a lot, um, I've fallen in love with the process of you know, getting diagnosed and then surgery and then rehab. And I'm, I'm leaning towards wanting to be a surgeon and, um, you know, doing as much as I can to help people like me in my situation who are prone to injuries get back from their injuries. His mother and I talked about shortly after the injury was uh, that he had the perspective in, in a very uh, short amount of time after tearing his ACL, uh, now his other ACL, excuse me, uh, that he was going to be one of the best orthopedic surgeons uh, later on down the road and, and have quite a few things to be able to share uh, and relate to with his um, patients. And, you know, for that kind of perspective to have the, the wisdom and the maturity beyond uh, measure of an 18-year-old uh, is something that uh, I'm just incredibly proud to, to have representative of our program. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Logan Nevis of Lexington Christian Academy.